Hey, good morning. Last week was something in the weather department. This week will be something else, and we're going to talk about it in today's edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. And it is Tuesday, the 7th of March, 2023, a much calmer week in the weather department ahead, at least in terms of high impact, widespread, nasty, spinny, spinny, doom, doom, severe weather mischief. We're not looking at any of that for the next several days, thankfully, because I lost enough hairs last week dealing with all of that nonsense. But you know what? It is approaching early spring here in the state of Texas, and that means we've always got something to talk about. If it's not in the weather department, it's in the wildfire department. Speaking of wildfires, the good news is the next several days across Texas, the Forest Service has our overall fire danger rating at low to moderate. So a wee bit of a reprieve in the fire weather department and the wildfire department, although I'm sure that won't last as we continue heading towards the springtime months. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the high res Rapid Refresh model. This is going to be for the next couple of days across Texas. We're going to be dealing with plenty of cloud cover today and on Wednesday with the potential for some precipitation in proximity of a slow moving to outright stalled cool front that will be in proximity of the Red River and into portions of Texoma today and in tomorrow. Now this front, generally speaking, it should sag a little bit south later today, tonight, and on Wednesday, but that really may not happen as we want it to happen. So pretty much the highest rain chances are going to be along the north of this cool front and wherever it ends up. Current data again has it near Texoma tonight into tomorrow, but if it ends up a little farther south, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, as you can see, based off this representation, regardless, it's going to be pretty cloudy across most of the state. We're going to see showers and storms fire up around sunset tonight near and north of that cool front as we see a bit of lift help pop off those storms tonight. We'll talk about the severe weather threat in a moment, but the overall severe weather threat will remain on the low marginal side and confined to the possibility for some quarter size hail. Uh, could see some heavy rainfall with these storms tonight, mainly across southern and central Oklahoma. Again, probably north of the Red River, but we note some storms tonight also possible into tomorrow morning across northeast Texas. So again, highest rain chances tonight, generally speaking, northwest Texas, Texoma, northeast Texas, the potential for a couple of storms to produce nickel to quarter size hail. The overall severe weather threat is a level one out of five. That means the lowest on the risk scale where we generally expect storm coverage, at least in the severe weather department, to remain isolated and on the short duration side of things. Tornado threat, really unlikely tonight. Uh, damaging winds, I can't rule out a gusty wind. Gust, yeah, there we go, there's words some gusty winds but again not expecting a repeat of last week in any way shape or form and we're thankful for that because that was quite tiring as we head into the forecast rain totals over the next couple of days we are going to see rain chances continue in proximity of that cool front as it moves further south tomorrow and on thursday we could see a decent bout of rain maybe one quarter inch up to maybe one inch of rain across parts of the big country southern north texas northeast texas with again the highest potential for two maybe three inch rains across the red river in texoma northeast texas up into oklahoma where they're going to get in on the heavier rains tonight and then maybe tomorrow night and thursday as well so again we need the rain that's okay we don't need the severe storms doesn't look like we're gonna have to deal with any higher end severe storms over the next few days so we're thankful for that on the high temperature department over the next several days across Texas, you can see where that cool front's nudging down today. Again, north of that cool front, wherever it ends up, temperatures are going to probably be in the 40s and 50s, much cooler. But for most of Texas, again, today is going to be in the upper 70s, 80s, and then 90s across the Edwards Plateau into South Texas because spring. Heading into Wednesday, you'll see that front sagging south a little bit more. And again, depending on how far south that front makes it, some of these temperature forecasts are going to bust in terms of being too warm but generally speaking highs in the 50s north of that front 80s south of it uh, again 90s edwards plateau south texas if it's not 100 degrees it ain't worth talking about so be happy about that at least on thursday we're going to see those warmer temperatures start to begin moving back north as cool front starts moving back north as a warm front we'll see generally 
uh, 70s, 80s across Texas, a couple 90s in South Texas, the Edwards Plateau. Here's Friday. We're going to start seeing cooler temperatures again as, well, maybe the potential for some rain increases. And then this will see temperatures 60s, northern half of Texas, maybe around 70 uh, 70s and 80s across the southern half of Texas. And then on Saturday, we're just going to be back up into the 70s, 80s across most of the state. As we see a potential storm system take shape, that may bring a few stronger storms by Saturday and maybe Sunday, but uh, weather models are not in agreement on that. So we'll just keep an eye on it for now. But again, springtime weather, you do expect some springtime storms at some point. With that all being said, Thanks for tuning in this morning. Thanks for tuning in last week. We set some pretty impressive viewer numbers. Hope we were able to keep you all informed and safe. As always, we encourage you to subscribe to our Texas Weather Center YouTube channel. That's our second YouTube channel where we post these daily weather forecasts and the typical stuff while the Texas Storm Chasers YouTube channel video channel is more for the storm chasing video side of things we'll have our next texas weather roundup out by probably 7 a.m on wednesday we're kind of playing around with the times a bit to see what makes the algorithm happiest but otherwise you can keep an eye on the sky with the free texas storm chasers interactive weather radar on our website texasstormchasers.com radar y'all have a great tuesday god bless